Don't like that noise. We need to stop making moving noises, house. Give me. It's not too terribly dark, but I'm probably not doing myself any favors by having the light off. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and the broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Uh-oh. Daniel's having a bad day. Oh, fuck you. And now a piano is playing somewhere. Oh, good. Let's see. My inkwell is out. Alright. That's gonna be a, a problem later, I'm sure. I'll open it's locked on the other side. It's like that. that and there's the piano Let's see is this where I came from shit I didn't want to go back to the entrance hall oh well I'll just turn around and go back because I don't have anything I really need yet I need the wine cellar key is what I need turn around Ah, uh, it was done, the men raved. Uh, let's go ahead and light this up too, just in case. Let's go this way. Damn, your house is messed up, friend. I'll act like I didn't hear that. Something got dead. Give me that. Something there. A lot of parchment. Ooh. Yay. The castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Hmm. So they were expecting to have all these tremors and uh, weird geological activity. They were expecting this to happen. 
east wing, west wing, western hall, and they were planning ahead for it. Apparently things did not go quite as anticipated. Ooh, what's this? Fragile, but not breakable by hand. And that was an explosion. Which probably means I need some kind of, like, hammer. Give me that tinder. Nope. Whoa. I think my character just has had a mild stroke. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Ooh. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Narrative. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. It's a trap. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So... Much like what we had in the, the short story, the custom story, there's an orb involved with, uh, with this particular group. Shit. Oh, I see what they did there. They played off the whole I'm trapped thing by trapping me. I guess I have to find something to break this. There's nothing in the piano. No, there wasn't. So that's blocked. That's blocked. Which probably means I have to go through that through that hole in the wall. Or find an alternate route, one or the other. That's just some big ass spider webs. Hmm. So there's nothing really else in this room though. Can't pick up the candlestick. Can't pick up the dresser. My first thought would be like a hammer or something, but I don't see anything of the sort. Can I pick up a chair and like fling it into it? Maybe. I can! That's awesome. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Uh, breaking things. Let's see, local folklore. Alstalt in, uh, in Brandenburg, Castle 1801, another region rich with, with lore, is Alstrat. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. Quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes, as picturesque as can be. I like the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. 
All travelers shall indulge themselves in much conversa in such conversation, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty, 30 Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by the, their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrible revenants. They, have, they move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard, struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? The Visit Undone Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resides in the local inn for, for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During the stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he was he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glade, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble. Some ten years later, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Ald Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet of the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brunnenberg lives a recursive life his family at the castle nearby, Alstadt, and like most of those noble birth, rumor has inherited, rumors are inherited alongside their with, their with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was built by Alexander, a nobleman of the Reynolds, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family was always was was had all has always been secretive when it comes to to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over three hundred years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along the great leaders of this country. So we got an immortal. We got an immortal in the mix. No oil, no tender boxes. It won't open, it is locked. Fuck. Oh, okay, there's clearly a door. I'm guessing there's a book puzzle here. Up, oh, yep, here we go. Arr, that's what it's supposed to do. So that's one book. Here we are. I do like book puzzles, for the most part. Like timed puzzles. And there's the key we need. Right then. Let's see, regarding closing in the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of, hu of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty. Wow, killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed some of the, some of them some wine. It would, it, it would in a sense solve both problems. Because the wine is poison or acid or something crazy because insanity. Well, we got our key. Let's skidoodle. Oh, well, we didn't even we didn't even need that, did we? Um Okay. We didn't need the key. Why do I have a key on my thing? Oh, oh, never mind. 
I see what they did there. Let's... Wow, I don't have that many tender boxes left, so... I've been using them pretty... pretty regularly, and now I'm about to run out of them, so I'm probably gonna wait on that. Um, study. Budge. Viva Library. I want to say I was in here already. Is this the uh, key of the wine cellar? It is, so I can go back to the, um, the atrium. Ugh, my eyes. Cannot. Damn it, do I have to follow the thing? I don't want to follow the thing. Why is there a th thing in the house to begin with? Okay. Well, we made it back to the entrance halls, and that's really all that matters at the time being. The statues have crying eyes, gaze, wow. Oh. oh, fucking balls, what the hell? Okay, they really, really did not want me going over that, apparently. It's just a piece of wood. I hear what sounds like a dog. So the wine cellar was this way, if I recall. Nope, those are the old archives. Is the wine cellar down where the rose petals were? Or were they upstairs? I don't remember. I'll just keep looking until I find it. Hooray! This looks like the laboratory. Dexter's laboratory. Oh. That's right. There we go. Sanity appears to be getting a bit tenuous. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Where did the virus go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime, or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> and they all died. Because they're stupid. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's light that up. Just in case I have to run back in there for sanity's purposes. Well, they've clearly lost their collective minds. Oh, good. There's the culprit. I did need the culprit. Seeing if there's anything in these behind these barrels that I need doesn't appear to be the case and this is more of a torture chamber than a wine cellar it appears at first glance there's some of that wine that's not quite wine oh Enemy is near, stay out of sight. God damn it, I don't want to look at the thing. Okay, I guess that I guess that was my my uh, notice to use the sanity potion. Yeah, that's not about right. 